Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been gone for a while. I don't have a lot to talk about sometimes. And there's other times, and I'm just like, I want to talk about this, but you know. Then I go to do it, and it won't upload. <laughs> I recorded a um, story time, and for some reason, it wouldn't upload. Like, either it would say it didn't exist, like it wouldn't pop up, or it would pop up, and then I go to like, import it or whatever and it would be like error so I tried to upload it and like so I could edit it for a span of like two weeks maybe two and a half weeks and then I was like you know what I give up is this really worth it and I was thinking I could always tell this again and make it better so today I'm gonna tell you a story from when I was about 10 or 11 I was on a choir trip some people went to the hospital on concert day into the story. I just like that song. <laughs> Sorry if my face looks weird. I'm kind of tired, but you know, I'll get through this. So in the story, I was about 10 or 11, as I said, and I was on my very first choir trip to Charleston, West Virginia. This was like in the summer. It was super hot outside. I had never been to Charleston, like West Virginia before. I was like, this is so cool. I had my hair cut to well maybe my chin honestly maybe like slightly below my chin but it was really short when you're younger you you don't brush your hair <laughs> so we basically took a, a really took a really nice bus there and we stayed in this super nice hotel i got to i roomed with people that i didn't necessarily know very well our concert was on a sunday and kind of like sunday afternoon I think it was Sunday evening that we were supposed to perform but for like a few days before the concert we were um, up in Charleston West Virginia practicing our songs with like this other choir that was also singing oh sorry I'm like losing my voice I honestly don't know why yeah so we were practicing in this big like ballroom it was well it was like the ballroom of a hotel we practiced in there and there was like over a hundred of us combined with the other choirs there was like maybe two or three other choirs so we were practicing there everything was fine you know nothing like serious happened or whatever this comes to concert day and concert day we're like obviously nervous obviously I was kind of nervous but you know I'm never super nervous when it comes to choir concerts because you know I'm not singing a solo I've never sung a solo in my life so as long as I'm with people and I know the song for the most part I, I'll be fine I'd be like a little nervous before but you know I'll get over it it's fine it's fun I like to sing day of the concert we had dress rehearsals hours before the actual concert so we were in like this kind of like theater building i don't know what it was called because you know that was a long time ago but yeah so it was kind of like you know if you went into a theater not like a movie theater but you know where people perform the arts and stuff so it was like this big stage and then there were risers so it was like a big room like that and so we were practicing um, for several hours on the stage, like on the risers and stuff, like we would go on and sing with the choir, then we'd come off and they'd like do their thing, and then we'd like go, we'd go back and sing our kind of like solo songs for my choir. My choir is Roanoke Valley Children's Choir, and they're amazing, <laughs> but I'm so sad because this is my last semester and I'm going to cry so bad at the concert, but anyways, for anyone who's go who goes to choir with me. I am very sorry for this spring concert because it's not going to be pretty. So we've been practicing for a couple hours and all of a sudden the air conditioning breaks. In the summer, you're on stage where there's hot lights coming on you and it's already hot on stage but then the only source of cool air goes away. There's going to be problems. Basically what happened is we're, all, we're on stage, the air conditioning breaks. And I don't remember how we found this out. I think eventually we were like, it's getting hot in here, what's going on? And some people, while, while we were practicing, started getting off the stage because they weren't feeling well. Either they were feeling sick or lightheaded or whatever. So eventually, like, we figured out, you know, the air conditioning broke. And so obviously, the choir directors and stuff, like my choir director and all the other ones, 
were they had sympathy for us like we weren't baby babies we were actually like you know dying of heat stroke or something so some of us um got off stage and like they were people backstage that were helping with them and there was this girl next to me which sadly she isn't in choir anymore but the teacher was like okay if you aren't feeling well feel free to step off the stage so you can like cool off i was pretty much fine but i feel like the thing for me was i was getting kind of scared and i feel like my head was like tricking me like it wasn't actually feeling bad but i was scared so i was like you know i need to get off the stage so and i was feeling kind of hot and i didn't want to humiliate myself by like passing out or like puking or something so i told my friend i just like whispered to her and i was like i don't feel on she's like get off the stage <laughs> she's like <laughs> she didn't want me to do anything on her so she's like get off the stage right now so i'm like to the right of the stage so it wasn't like too obvious that i got off so I, I, I walk down the, the right of this and I go backstage and there are like several of these moms. And it's like really dark backstage, but there are like a few moms and they have these chairs and they're like, oh, honey, come here, sit down. So I sit down and I'm like, I kind of felt bad because I wasn't like feeling super terrible, but they were like being like super like helpful and like caring about it. I was like, I'm a waste of resources. <laughs> so... They give me a bottle of water and which honestly if I didn't go back there I feel like I could have felt worse so I guess I mean it was either now or later so they gave me a bottle of water and they put like a wet wash rag on my head and I was just laying there I was like okay this is happening there are real people out there who are like passing out <laughs> but you know I didn't want to pass out so that's why I was back there and then eventually it got to a point where they had to like completely stop the rehearsal and because people so many people were feeling that like we can't stay up here anymore we're risking lives in a way like if it got any worse yeah people could have probably died but they they paused the rehearsal entirely and they're like we need to get everyone to a cooler room and there was um I don't know if it was like a building or just like another room, but it was kind of like this garage kind of thing that they have, you know, if you go to a car dealership or whatever and they have this fancy the garage where they have like cars parked in it and stuff. It was kind of like that. I don't remember if there were a lot of cars parked in there. I don't think there were, at least not a lot, but it was definitely a lot cooler in there because, you know, there were windows on like the garage doors and stuff and the floor was tiled so we could like just take our feet off and it's like oh you know it's cool and stuff so we all went in there and there was an ambulance waiting for us and for me i was like i honestly wasn't feeling that bad but i made sure mentally i was like i'm not going to feel bad because i was embarrassed because if you weren't feeling good you had to like and you were gonna get checked out, you had to like take your shirt off. Well, to number one, like cool off, and also so they can like check your heart and all that stuff. And honestly, I don't get why you have to take your shirt off, but whatever. So I was like not going to do that because I didn't have a tank top on. And I was like embarrassed. Like, I've always been like that, like shy in front of people. I was like, you yeah, know, I don't need to be checked on, I'll be fine. Our choir, like the people who weren't feeling bad, were sitting on the ground in like circles just like i think they gave us like chex mix and water and stuff i was like thank you because chex mix is amazing yeah so a lot of kids were crying because obviously it was scary and we found out later that this girl who actually is still in choir right now she had an asthma attack and i didn't witness it but so like she did have an asthma attack and she was like taken to the hospital she probably either didn't have her inhaler or it, if she did it wasn't really helping because she was like freaking out so bad i honestly don't know i've never asked her about it because like it's been a while and be weird be like hey remember that time you passed out <laughs> so i know she went to the hospital and a few others went to the hospital from like passing out and stuff which i never actually witnessed this because i was like with my group of friends i didn't really just wander by myself my the friends who i were with <laughs> They didn't really have like serious problems, like they didn't pass out or anything. You know, as I said, several people went to the hospital 
And this was the one time my dad was a chaperone. He was a chaperone for like some of the guys in my choir. And I guess he was kind of glad he was there. So he could have like, you know, he could be there for me. But just imagine like something happens and like you're a parent and your kid is like hours away and something bad happens and you can't do anything about it. So I'm pretty sure he was like glad he was there because like every other choir trip after, nothing serious like that has happened, at least not to me. And like, yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing like serious has happened like that. So he was there and I don't remember what he was doing exactly. Cause I was with my own chaperone and he was like with his kids and stuff. Several of us were like, are we still gonna have the concert? Because there are kids in the hospital right now. There are kids who are like overheating, passing out. And if the air conditioning isn't fixed, we honestly should not go back on that stage because we don't need to humiliate ourselves and like collapse in front of all these people, you know? It's like, it would completely like ruin the entire evening and like the whole thing would have to be canceled. Like you go on a trip and your, your thing is canceled and so it's like, wow, this was a waste of time, you know? But I think what happened is the air conditioning was fixed because they obviously they realized the seriousness of how we needed it back on and like soon. So um, I think I'm pretty sure it was fixed and so we eventually we calmed down and like cool off and we went back and we ended up performing and I'm glad we were able to perform because I'd been like so disappointing if we couldn't but I'm also it was also something to remember even though like obviously I didn't die no one died from it it was still scary especially for me I was like 10 or 11 just like you think the smallest thing like oh they passed out we're all gonna die you know so it was definitely something that was scary that's probably the most ex exciting thing that has ever happened to me honestly yeah, so that is what happened that's why an ambulance showed up to my choir concert and I'm, I'm glad I'm glad everything and everyone is okay now yeah I just thought that'd be cool to share with you because I feel like it doesn't happen to everyone maybe so I'm glad you could watch sorry I haven't been on in a while and I will try to make some other story times later if I can and I'll see you later bye